Our daily lives are filled with decisions, big and small. Even simple choices like what to wear usually are the result of complex considerations. What's the weather going to be like? What will you be doing today? Do you feel like making an impression or keeping it casual? But the world around us is constantly changing, so we want to adapt the choices we make to match the changing conditions. What's true for humans is also true for computer programs. We don't want our programs to always run in the same way. They should respond to changing conditions. In the last video, we learned how to use Boolean expressions to establish whether something is true or false. We can now add something called a conditional statement to help guide the computer's decisions based on that information. The simplest conditional statement is an if statement. It says that if something is true, the computer should run a specific block of code. Let's say that you want to create a program that displays whether or not you are old enough to see a PG-13 movie. So the question we want the computer to evaluate is, if age is greater than or equal to 13. The question, or Boolean expression, goes next to the if. The block of code we want to run, only if the condition is true, goes inside the if statement. So in our example, whenever the expression age greater than or equal to 13 is true, the program will write to the screen that you are old enough to see a PG-13 movie. Of course, some people will not be old enough. In these kinds of situations, we will want our programs to do something else when the condition is false. In order to do this, we will want to expand our if statements to include an else statement. The commands contained in this else statement only run if the Boolean condition in the if statement is false. You can add an else statement by either dragging out the if else block or by clicking the plus symbol in the bottom right corner of the if block. 